you just close that up. And the thing I love about this is it's super easy. It has, um, they kind of designed it better so you can ergonomically hold on to the lid so people with arthritis and stuff like that works. So, and you just give it a couple pulls and it dices up everything nice and well. Take a look at that. And I'm gonna quickly put in the other two because my family loves garlic. It calls for one clove of garlic, but because we like, like garlic and onions, I'm using two. So just really quick, four or five holes of the chopper. That one got stuck on the lid again. And then you just dump that right into the pressure cooker. Now the blade is super sharp, so make sure you put that off to the side. And I'm just gonna use one of our spatulas here to get all of that out, okay? Um, I also am going to make one um, cup of beef broth. Um, I put a bouillon cube in our micro pitcher, and I love these. These are on sale this month um, as well, but I love them because if you're melting butter or chocolate or anything like that, you can put the lid on it and it won't get your microwave messy. So I'm gonna just start that too, um, just for a couple minutes in there. And while that's cooking, I'm gonna do the rest of it. Um, I have some Italian seasoning in one of our um, spice shakers. I love these because my spices stay way fresher than they used to. My spices used to always clump up when they were in um, the little bottle, store-bought bottles. And I always was thrown away and I was wasting so much money. So um, I switched to these and I haven't thrown away spices in like two years since I've been using them. So I love that our teaspoons fit right down in there. So it's just one teaspoon of Italian seasoning. I'm just gonna sprinkle that on there. And then I have um, two cups or I mean, yeah, two cups of penne pasta. Um, this is whole wheat, um, just so it's a little bit healthier. And I normally use ground turkey too, but I ran out of ground turkey, so I had to use ground beef. But you could do whatever your family likes. You just pour that right in there. And then this is just store-bought ragu. You know, don't tell all the Italian people out there, they're like, oh my gosh, store-bought, not homemade. But it's easy for me. So I'm gonna empty that all in there. And then I'm gonna go ahead and get my cup of beef broth and I'm just gonna pour that in there as well. Now there is a few safety features on our pressure cooker and um, in the seal here, there is a pressurized ring. So if for some reason it does get to be under too much pressure, that will fall off and let the steam explode or uh, escape. So that way it doesn't explode in your microwave. You also have a steam release here. There's a steam release in the handle. And when it's pressurized, this little guy here kind of pops up, um, just like it does it with the turkey. Um, and that's how you know it's under pressure. You do not want to open that up until that's completely down and cooled. So I'm going to stir this up a little bit just to get everything in there. Okay. There is a fill line in here um, on the side of the pressure cooker. You don't want to go above that because then it won't cook as well because um, there won't be enough pressure to cook your food the way it's supposed to. And then there's a little arrow here. I don't know if you can see it right there. And there's one also on the handle here and you line those up and then you just twist, you pop down the lid and I'm gonna stick this in the microwave. You guys, this only takes 10 to 13 minutes based on your microwave. I know in mine, it takes 12 minutes. So that's what I'm gonna do. And then I just set it and forget it. No, I'm just kidding. Set it in there and now I can go do whatever I want to do with the family while this is cooking. So um, I'm going to throw it back to Ellen and over to whoever's cooking next and we'll come back at the end of the night to check out what it looks like. Awesome. Thank you so much, Christy. You're welcome. Uh 
How great is that? I mean, honestly, it looks amazing. It's quick and easy. I was saying just before the call, we were talking about the one pot pasta and uh, my teenagers, that's a meal that they, that's their fourth meal, right? The meal that they eat when they get home from school and they fix themselves an entire meal after school. So that's a lot of times that they do. They'll just throw everything into that pressure cooker and have that one pot pasta for themselves right after school is out. Um, so I have to say, you know, it's kind of cool. One of the perks in Tupperware is we get paid for cooking dinner. <laughs> so many people, they cook for their parties, they cook the di their dinner in the form of a demo for their Facebook parties. Um, we also kind of, you know, sometimes experiment with that. Sometimes we make videos. There are lots of people that do social media stuff and they're just cooking dinner and making food for their family. And, uh, and they're on social media being able to promote their Tupperware business. So that is definitely one of the perks here in the business. All right. So next we're going to jump to Angela. She is ready and waiting to make her meal. She said that she's been excited about making this all week. And so she's excited to be here tonight. So, hey, Angela, how's it going? Hi guys, it's going really good. I'm super excited. Um, actually, <laughs> I went last week and bought the ingredients, and then you know we were as the directors, we put our heads together and talk about what different um, recipes that we're gonna do and things like that. And I was telling Ellen, I'm like, oh, I've been waiting all week. I can't wait to make this recipe. It's one of my favorites. So um, growing up, I grew up on a farm and um, we were always, you know, busy and things like that. And we didn't always quite go out to eat all the time. But one of my favorite restaurants was the Olive Garden. I loved like fettuccine Alfredo was like my favorite thing to eat when we went out to eat. And I like, I think that's like almost every girl's kind of favorite thing to eat on the menu when you go out to eat. Maybe not. I don't know. I, some people like steak, whatever, but I, that was like my favorite thing to order. Like chicken fettuccine Alfredo with broccoli was like the bomb when we went out to eat because it was always like steak and beef and burgers and this and that on the farm you know that was that's what's for supper right so um we didn't always have that well I learned how to make it and you would not believe how easy it is so you think oh my goodness homemade yeah that's so hard uh, for some people they're thinking yeah right I'll never be able to make something like that you wouldn't believe how super simple and easy it is especially once I joined Tupperware and um, you realize how um all these different tools that we have to use in our kitchen makes everything so much easier um, to just do all kinds of different things. And we all put our heads together because we're always wondering like, gosh, what's for supper tonight? What's a recipe? What am I going to make for dinner? You know, this and that. Well, we all are thinking the same thing in our life and we all are moms and we put our heads together and we're like, oh, that's a great idea. We have a million recipes and a million different tools. So, um, this is one thing that is just my absolute favorite. So we'll get down to it. So the first thing I do is uh, obviously the pasta. So this is our smart multi cooker. This is the only way that I do my pasta um, is in the microwave. Um, because I mean, you used to always, you know, growing up on the farm, obviously you pull out the big old pot and you boil water and you make your pasta. Well, I figured out from being in Tupperware that there's other ways to do pasta too. And this thing is so awesome because it's not just for pasta. There's so many different things that you can use it for. Um, the, you can use it as a rice maker. So you can do you know, one cup of rice to two cups of water. You can do it in the microwave for five minutes or 10, I'm sorry, 10 minutes in the microwave and it is perfect rice perfect white rice. So when you're doing those shish kebabs, you want to make sure you have some white rice to put all that stuff right on top of. And it is so good and leftovers for lunch the next day for work or whatever. It's super good. So that's something easy to just pop in the microwave to use it for. Then you have your steamer. So you can use as 
everything's super healthy right now. Everybody's on a keto diet. Everybody's low carb, everything. Uh, my parents are really looking to stay healthier right now. So steaming your vegetables, steaming your potatoes. This is how I do my mashed potatoes now because you're getting 80% of the nutritional value out of your food when you're steaming because it's cooked with all natural steam. Um, so this is the steamer portion, but this is what I used it for tonight. Um, I just use the base. You just put your pasta right down inside of the base right here. You can still see it steaming. I just put, I dumped the whole thing of pasta right side of here and I cover it up with water and I put it in the microwave for 15 minutes and I pull it out. And then this is just, this goes on top of the steamer actually. Um, to use as like a double layer so you can put your uh, vegetables on the bottom and your chicken on the top or your chicken on the top and your vegetables on the bottom i use it as a strainer so i'll use this boil your um pasta and then i put this on the top and then i use it as a strainer and then there's my pasta ready to go for whatever meal whatever spaghetti dinner or pasta dinner there's done and guess what guys both of these go right in the dishwasher i don't have a big giant pot to wash when i'm all done super simple easy multi-useful the whole thing stacks all nice down inside of each other and it goes right in the cupboard in a in a permanent station in my cupboard and i use this thing all the time so you need one of these all right so now i have my farfalle or we call it butterfly pasta in our my house but um it says farfalle on the box and so we have our pasta all done el dente nice and good to go and now we are going to do the alfredo sauce so that is you're going to be like, oh my gosh, it's so easy. I never knew that. So um, of course you want to store your pasta in our beautiful modular maids, our dry goods storage system. I had to show you how cute these little labels are and um, our beautiful pasta storage system. Um, so I pulled that out for you. But so here we go. All right, so here's my little store or my little station I have here. All right, so we have our pot over on the stove. I'm gonna turn you completely around over to my stove over here. There we go. All right, so I'm gonna turn this on. I'm gonna turn on medium heat. And so this is our beautiful cookware right here. And as this one here is heating up, I'm gonna show you a little bit about our cookware. Our cookware is absolutely the bomb you guys want this stuff you know why because did you know that tupperware yep it says it right there this means lifetime guarantee right there yep so even just like those grandma's tupperware bowls this right here means a lifetime cookware also so when you are investing and in buying those Tupperware bowls that are going to last forever, that get passed down from generation to generation, it's the same thing with your cookware, guys. And this is very super good, high quality cookware. Um, all right. So the first thing we're going to put in is our butter, of course, farm to table, butter, butter, butter. We love our butter, right? So you don't have to measure. I don't ever measure butter. I just grab a hunk of butter and put it in there. Um, if you're a little more <laughs> watching out for stuff, you might want to put a little bit less butter, but I just grab a hunk of butter and put it in there. Um, and then garlic. I love garlic. So the bigger hunks of garlic you can find at the store, the better. <laughs> and the more garlic, the better it is for me. Um, we have our amazing garlic press, which this is what I used. Um, you can you open up the garlic press just like this and you put that whole clump of garlic right down inside of here and then you just go like this and squeeze and it all comes out and what I do is I take my knife and just kind of like shave it off right here just go psh, like that comes off and when you open this back up this little metal piece kind of lifts up you can take that tip of your knife and just go boop and all of that junk comes right off and goes right into the um, trash can. So um, when you are able to pick this up, definitely you wanna grab one of these. Um, so we're gonna get that butter melting inside of your pan right here. And I'm gonna turn this heat down because you don't wanna cook this on high. You wanna get it just to where it's heating up. And then you're gonna add your garlic. You do not wanna cook 
your garlic till it's brown. You just want to cook that garlic to where you can smell it. That's just releasing the flavor out of that garlic. By the way, these are our little clearly elegant bowls. How fancy are those? You can be like Rachel Ray in your own kitchen. How cool is that? I have like a million. I can't addicted to those little baby bowls. They're so cool. Even when I'm by myself, I gotta be cool when I'm cooking, right? Not really, but it sounds cool. <laughs> so we're releasing those um, smells in that garlic. So, and it's all ready to go. Now you are ready for your heavy whipping cream. So I have something really fun to tell you. We're just gonna put that heavy whipping cream in here. Did you guys know uh, this is crazy. I cannot believe as a farmer's daughter, I did not know this. Did you know they have the modern milkman? They have a milkman that delivers milk right to your door in the glass jar, like today, now, like they used to in the old days. I didn't know that. I am so excited. I think I am going to go ahead and uh, give that a try. So I will have to let you guys know how that works. So I am just dumping in here. I'm going to like picture about half of this. So if you get one of those like bigger size, Aldi's has those a little bit like bigger um, cartons, not the real smaller ones. If you get the small ones, you want to get about two of them. But if you, all these has a little bit bigger ones, I would get the bigger carton. Don't put this whole thing unless you're making for a giant family. Um, I would put about half of this in there. And then you wanna heat that up and get that boiling. So you're, if you're on super low, it's gonna take a while. You might wanna turn it up a little bit, okay? So then we have our whisk and all of our Tupperware, um, as you can see, I don't know if you guys can see over there. These are all my little utensils, not little, but I have two whole bins over here full of utensils over here. They're all my Tupperware utensils. I use these all the time. They're great. And they go right along with our um, Tupperware cookware. And they're made specifically for um, making sure that you keep these nice and um, non-stick. Um, so we're going to use this whisk and we're just going to kind of move this stuff around here. This cookware is great because it goes on all the different cooktops. It goes on um, your convection, it goes on um, your gas, it goes on the electric. And the cool part, it, you can use it like right in the oven. So if you wanted to treat it like a cast iron and bake like a pie or anything like that right inside of your oven, like a cast iron skillet, you can do that. It's made and designed to go right inside of your oven. That is really, really cool. Um, so our bigger pots and the stay cool handles are really, really nice. They're not stay cool if you put them in the oven, but if they're on top of the stove, and um, you have the bigger pots and you're cooking a pot of soup and your husband has you know, bigger hands or bigger fingers and he's like, oh, I wanna get a bowl of soup and he comes over. These are really nice because there's enough room under there that you can go ahead and grab a hold of that stay cool handle and lift it and pull it up off of there. These are always gonna be nice and cool. You don't have to get a pot holder if you're boiling something on the stove to grab it. And this is always gonna be nice and cool also. The handles are all nice and stay cool. And over here as well. Um, so that's nice to, to have too. All right, so we have our butter, our garlic, and then we added the heavy whipping cream. And now I have a little bit of cream cheese. This is a little bit of a trick. Uh, cream cheese is delicious and my favorite. These are amazing. These are our silicone spatulas and um, yes, they are heat resistant. So I, you can um, cook your eggs inside of the pan. So I just put that little bit of hunk of cream cheese in there and stir that up and just melt it. I kind of cut it up and move it around a little bit. And that kind of will thicken up, but it won't thicken up a whole lot. 
um, what really starts to thicken it up and get it to where you want it is going to be um, the cheese. So I'm going to show you guys. Now, my motto, you guys will probably hear this just about every single demo I ever do is fresh is always best. So um, fresh grated Parmesan cheese, not the green cap powdery not really real cheese stuff. You want to get the real fresh cheese, okay? <laughs> so uh, real grated Parmesan cheese is what you need to use. That is going to be really good. And if you don't have Parmesan, um, Asiago cheese in here is so delicious also. So um, I have some already done, but this is actually shaved. I shaved it. So as it is bubbling here, you want to make sure it's on low but you just wanna add a little bit at a time and then you want to mix it up and let it melt. And then you wanna add a little bit at a time and mix it up. And then what it's gonna do is it's gonna thicken and oh, you can smell it. It's absolutely delicious. And that my friends is going to be the most delicious dinner and your eyes are gonna roll back in your head. And you're gonna be like, oh, the Olive Garden, perfect pasta dinner. And you're gonna love it. And that is your Alfredo. And then you're gonna take your pasta and you're gonna get a scoop and you're gonna put your broccoli and your chicken and your Alfredo sauce. And you're gonna put it right on top of there. And you're gonna be, using your brand new Tupperware cookware that you got for half price for being a hostess at your Tupperware party. And you are really gonna be in heaven. So back to you, Ellen. Thank you very much. Awesome, that was so good. Oh, am I muted? Okay, okay. That's so good. Thank you so much. I love that cheese too. And I love that Asiago. We call it the stinky cheese in the house because yeah. it smells really bad, but it tastes yeah, it's really good. So good. <laughs> Any recipe that calls for Parmesan cheese, you can sub out that Asiago and it is amazing. So yeah, absolutely. I'm with you on that. Awesome. That was so great. And you know what? Um, gosh, I, I, the cookware, I have to say one of my favorite tools in the kitchen is cookware. I always love good cookware and good knives. Um, those are my two top. If I, if I have to budget where I'm spending my money in the kitchen on my tools, it's my cookware and my knives. And, um, and so, and she's right. Absolutely. One of the options that you have to get that cookware is to be a host and get some for half price. But another perk of the business is um, that sometimes, uh, sometimes we have that cookware for available for a, a less expensive price. It's a, it's, we call it a sample price. Um, and so sometimes it's available for that, but also people in their first 13 weeks in the business can actually earn the entire step for free, which is just crazy. So, um, so yeah, so that is something, uh, definitely talk to your consultant that is running your party or your consultant that invited you here as a guest for details on that. And, um, and so we've had lots of people that have earned it that way. Um, I even had somebody that came in specifically to earn that cookware for free. She earned her cookware and she was like, peace, <laughs> which is totally fine. You can absolutely do that. Um, you know, that's what, what people get started for various reasons. And, um, and then we're just here to support and educate, right? All right. So actually really quick, Lori, before we cut to you, Christy's um, is depressurized. So we're going to like slip back over to Christy really quick so she can just show us our one pot pasta and then we'll be right over to you, Lori. Oh, you're muted. <laughs> can you hear me now? Yep. Can, can you hear me now? Okay. Yeah. So um, I just took this out of the microwave. So it's still a little hot to touch, but not hot that you can't take it. Um, the little pressurized knob came down, so I know it's safe to open up. You just open up the thing, twist it, and you always want to open this away from you so the steam, as you can see, goes out. And then you just stir up this pasta, and oh my gosh, look how delicious that is. And then I just go ahead and serve it in our little soup bowls, impression soup bowls. 
Um, right now, this month, the pressure cooker, if you buy the pressure cooker, you get a set of four of the large ones and a set of four of the small ones absolutely free. So I love these bowls. So definitely check that out. Talk to your consultants about that. So um, off to Lori, I guess now, huh? Absolutely. Send it straight over to Lori. We're ready for her. All right, if I can unmute myself, I gotta always reach across my counter. So, hi everybody, I'm Lori. Welcome to my kitchen. And this is my husband, Dwayne. Hi. He, um, we do our business together. Um, so if you don't know us, um, that is what we do. Uh, since we switched to virtual parties, just about 96% of the time now, um, we uh, demo from our kitchen, which is convenient, but um, prior to that, we did all in-home parties. We love to get out into people's homes and show you how these products work. So thank you all for joining our cooking show. We love to do this every Tuesday. We get to show different products. And I was laughing at watching the comments of um, when Angela was using the cookware and making that amazing Alfredo, people were like, oh my gosh, I'm putting pounds on right now just watching her make this. But the good thing, we give you the tools and you can make them any way that you want. And here in this house, we are not uh, keto only, are we? we? We're making bread tonight. We were eating bread earlier, so we're bread and potatoes. So um, we're going to make some bruschetta, and it's a great appetizer. And what we're going to use is one of our other amazing products. I feel like this MicroPro grill um, ranks right up there with our cookware. Um, we probably use our MicroPro grill more than we use our cookware, although um, we have many pieces of cookware. We use them all the time from our... Fry pan, I make eggs in the morning to our um, three quarts that we make pasta in. And But this MicroPro grill is designed specifically for the microwave. And I know Dwayne loves to use this. And made he actually made appetizers. Um, he makes appetizers for the Super Bowl in this. Correct, yep. Um, spinach artichoke dip. Oh, yeah. Um, did that. Um, you did it a lot. in a blanket? Or is that what they're called? Pigs in a blanket with the bacon? Yeah. Or maybe pigs in the blanket is with cabbage, but pigs rolled up, <laughs> sausage rolled up in bacon in here. So you can, anything that you would grill, <laughs> anything you would grill um, outside or on your stove, you can make in here. So as Dwayne was saying, um, he makes, we like to make dips in here. So I've got my bread in there. I'll show you that in a second. So there's two positions on this grill. This is the casserole position, there's a little air. That is the way you would make the spinach artichoke and the Reuben dip and oh. pizza dip and- You don't want the lid to sit on top of your food and then it gets all gooey and- Yes. Makes a big mess. So to grill, um, you have this top. Can you touch that susceptor on the inside? It's not hot or he wouldn't be able to do that. <laughs> um, that gets hot and the susceptor on the bottom of this grill gets hot. And in a, it's not hot, you can touch it. And in a minute and 30 seconds, this is 425 degrees. Um, and it will never go over that, okay? It's designed to specifically hit that mark and stay there, all right? So um, it's got channels. I think you could see around the side. Sorry, I got my bread in there. Channels around the side where if you're doing hamburgers or any um, bratwurst. We like to do brats. We just did brats uh, last week and all the grease goes to the end. Yeah, so um, you're not yeah. cooking in the grease. Um, it takes it away. And um, this is a nonstick surface. This is called Eterna. This is what Tupperware designed for this. So you can use oil, like I have oil. Um, um, olive oil on here. On the bread, you can use that. You can use butter, but do not ever use cooking spray because the chemicals in the cooking spray will ruin the finish on any of our nonstick products and void the warranty. So that goes for the cookware that Angela showed you um, to our um, grill. Okay, so you can use oil and butter galore. Um, you can make a grilled cheese sandwich in three minutes, which is great if you have kids. So um, we're going to put this in the microwave 
for three minutes. Now this grill is cold. You can preheat your grill, which a lot of times I do with a piece of bread. I put a piece of bread in here. I put this in the grill position, which means that the two sides are touching, right? It's all the way down. That's what grills on both sides, top and bottom. Um, I um, will put a piece of bread in there for a minute and 30 seconds and it heats the grill up. We're gonna do this cold. So if we're gonna do a cold, it just adds, adds, more time. adds more time. So when you get this, you kind of play around with your microwave. We do have a customer group for all of our um, premium Kitchen Hero products. So if you wanna be added to our customer groups to see the recipes and see how it works before you purchase it, ask your um, rep that invited you here and they can add you because we have the group specifically for customers so they can see the kinds of things that we can make. So um, this, I will tell you how you can get this at a steal, like right now, all right? But first, um, I put I, bruschetta, we cut, there's seven pieces, I was gonna say six. Um, I put a little olive oil on it and I used our silicone brush and I just brushed some oil on it. You don't have to do that if you're watching calories, but we're not here, so. Dwayne's gonna put that in the microwave for three minutes and we'll see how grilled it is. Um, play with your microwave and see, you might like your bread a little more toasted so you can put it back in. So um, it's completely up to you. So here is our French baguette, right? Uh, someone talked about good knives. I think it was Ellen. Um, this is our bread knife that is in our line. And what's great about Tupperware knives is you'll never have to worry about any of our knives breaking off right here because they are bladed tip to end. So this blade goes all the way through the handle. Okay, so this is the bread knife and you just get a baguette, a French baguette and you cut it sideways, okay? And I'll probably make some more after I make these. Um, but that's what I did with that, okay? And then for the filling, the filling is really simple. If anybody's ever made this appetizer, they know, thank you. They know uh, that you chop up certain things, but I'm gonna show you a really quick way to do it. So these are a little, these are a little cutting boards, which are great. I have three of these and I use them all the time, aside from the white one that you saw. So this is our main attraction. This is our supersonic chopper. This will chop anything in minutes. So no more crying with onion. I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna chop an onion and I'm gonna chop some garlic. Um, it has a motor. This motor I'll show you will fit this little tiny compact chopper. I'm going to chop up some parsley when we're done. Um, and then there is a smoothie, the middle one, which is in between these two. Um, it uses the same motor. All right. And it's a pool cord. So it just has a rubber bottom, a rubber ring that sits on the bottom. And you pull it like a vacuum, uh, not a vacuum, a lawnmower. If I pulled my vacuum like that, the floors would get done a lot quicker, wouldn't they? Back in the olden days. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, speaking of the olden days, while I cut this, I have to say Angela, I'm a little older than Angela, and she was talking about the olden days and the milkman coming. And she's gonna try and let you know how it is. I know personally, when I was a kid, the milkman used to come and the milk is fine, so give it a try, Angela. I was laughing. All right, so I got um, an onion and I'm just gonna quarter the onion and I'm gonna put it in here. Okay, we have the blade in. Um, and also with it comes the um, paddle. Did you go grab the paddle? It looks like all the country. I asked him to go grab the paddle because once I chop this, then we're going to paddle all the ingredients together. All right, so I put the onion in there and then I put the garlic. So it says to use two cloves. So, of course, um, I'm going to use three cloves because we love garlic. Thank you. So, this is our, our, um, Paddle. So once I chop, this can go right in. And it just sits on a little nub in there. And you put the motor on and you can chop anything. Okay. So you hold the top and you pull it. So that's five times that I pulled this just to show you how great this is. Look at how it's chopped everything up. Five pulls with our supersonic. Isn't that amazing? I love this. Um, we just did a show here in Cleveland at the IX Center and people were talking about 
um, in the past or currently they have that other brand that has that chopper that makes a lot of noise. This puts that to shame. This, I used to have one of those noisy choppers. Um, this is the way to go because it will chop anything up with just five or six pulls, all right? So it also has an infuser, which I'm actually going to use. It has a half a cup measurement on the side and there's a little inlet there that um, sits on the side and you can pre-fill this and turn it to lock it off and it will slowly infuse whatever liquid. So if you're making pesto or you're adding oil, which I'm going to add, um, you can do that and it will act like your third arm. All right, you want to do the camera here? Third arm, third hand. The hand's attached to the arm. Oh. All right, so um, this is our can opener. You want to try it? Or you want to do it? No, you want to try it? He's never done it before. Um, so you can use fresh tomatoes. Yeah, or you can use canned. Um, same with salsa. We make salsa all the time. I didn't tell them how to do it. <laughs> That's why I asked you. Um, open it or? You can tell them. So it goes lefty or righty as Dwayne's doing, okay? And it goes on the top. As you can see, it goes on the top. Not on the side. Not on the side. Like the olden days. Are yeah. It goes on the top. And then there's a little nose on the end, and you pull it off. And the great thing about our can opener, here, try to me. Just, That's what I'm saying. Oh, You're tripping on me. Oh, sure. It is not um, sharp. So it takes the sharp edge off of the um, tomato and puts it, um, I don't know where it puts it, it just takes it off. Okay, so no sharp edge on the can. Um, so you can use, as I was starting to say, you can use re um, regular tomatoes that you grow or that you buy. We don't grow them here in Cleveland right now because there's two feet of snow on the ground. Um, but it makes it a little more watery. So you just adjust for that, okay? So for this, I wanted to have Dwayne demo the can opener. So we did that. So I'm just gonna add this. And you can get plain or you can get seasoned. I like to buy diced tomatoes. This one has basic basil, garlic, and oregano, so I don't have to add any more spices. Although I'm gonna add salt and pepper. Does anybody remember these? I love these. I remember my mom had these, although she had a big S and P on the side. These don't, but if you have a Sharpie, you can draw on them. All right, so we, we added tomatoes. This is almost like salsa. It's almost like a salsa recipe. You would just add lemon or lime and cilantro. So what we're going to do, look at that, I wanna show you that. So look at how it's chopped up. So now we're going to add, thank you. We're gonna add um, oil. So this is one of our counter scapes. I keep my oil in it and we're just gonna put some in. I am not going to measure because I normally don't measure much, but you see, I think you can see that it doesn't come out very quickly. So that's what's great about our counter scapes. Okay, and then you just mix it up. So this is going to go on the top of the bruschetta, the bread gun. All right, show us what you got. Ooh, can you guys see that? Look at that, three minutes. You didn't put it anymore, did no, you? No, I put it a little bit longer. How much more? Like another minute. Okay. Just because we started off cold, so I needed a little extra time. You can kind of see the. Let me show it. So you don't have to flip it over either because it does both sides, okay? So these blades in this chopper are very, very, very sharp. So please don't stick them anywhere where you're gonna touch them. Um, and lastly, I'm just gonna take the top. See how I took the top motor on my little one? I think Angela did this. This is Italian, flat Italian parsley. These little ones are great for herbs. What? Can I get closer? But look at how it how it takes it and chops it up. Um, herbs are a little bit too small to put in our big one, but if you're doing a lot, a big bunch, it will. But um, I'm just doing a little amount. Look at how it chops up your herbs. Isn't that amazing? So right there, you need two choppers. Okay. 
And all you're going to do, I'm gonna get a plate, I forgot to get a plate, is just take your, doesn't matter, um, take your uh, bread and you're gonna put it on um, your plate and you're gonna scoop the bruschetta or the, the mixture onto it. Do you wanna do that? And I'll talk, tell them about the grill real quick. Yeah. And then you're gonna um, put the parsley, yes. You're gonna put the parsley, sprinkle the parsley on top, okay? You could use um, shredded cheese, like Angela was saying, the par uh, the fresh grated Parmesan. Or you can use our special cheese. Not the real cheese. Where does that even come from? Yeah, that doesn't stink, oh, but oh my gosh, I, don't I don't know. But you don't wanna use that. Yeah, so you wanna no, grate your own and put that on here. Not this stuff, not this stuff, <laughs> no. <laughs> so our grill, um, as they were saying, or as Ellen was saying about our grill, um, when you decide to join our team, many, many perks for joining our team. The biggest perk is purchasing at a discount. All right. So right now, um, this grill is on our 35% off list. All right. Comes out once a month, right? Um, this very rarely happens. I want everyone to know this, um, is on that list. Um, and you can buy one of them. This grill retails for $199. So you can pay full price and get it retail. You can be a hostess and get it half off or earn enough credits to get it free. Or you can, um, join our team and get it at our discount buyer and you can get this for $96. So this is a steal. You can, Ellen's going to give you the options, I believe, but when you join us, um, you can get this for $96 right now through the end of our month. So that is, oh, we'll put a little parsley. Yeah, we'll put a little parsley. Um, you can sprinkle cheese. If you're trying to cut down. You don't want to sprinkle cheese, but everything is better with cheese. cheese. Shaved cheese, any kind of cheese, Asiago, whatever you want to do. Stinky cheese. Stinky cheese. And that is your appetizer. And without all the talking like we did, you could do this in literally five minutes. So that is it. And we'll post the recipe. And back to you, Ellen. Awesome. This is so good. <laughs> Two different times. I apologize. Uh, I was not muted and I laughed at Angela. I laughed at Lori. <laughs> Dwayne. Yeah. So <laughs> that was really good. And I, I totally wish I was in all these places to eat all this yummy food. <laughs> So um, awesome. I absolutely love it. You know, these cooking shows, they're so much fun. You know, even if you're, whether you're here as a guest or you're here as a host, or maybe you just kind of stumbled onto our, our public page, um, you are very welcome here. And we're glad that, that you're here. Um, so we're going to do some drawings here in just a moment. Um, but I wanted to let you know, you had three options here tonight going forward. Your option number one is to um, come back in the next couple of weeks as a host, um, and you can invite your friends and family and share this event with them as well, because um, we would love to have you here as a host. And as a host, you can get some free and half price stuff based on the sales of your party. Um, your second option, uh, Lori kind of mentioned it. And she talked about that we have sample pricing. Uh, you could join Tupperware just to get a discount. It's kind of like Sam's Club, right? It's kind of like Costco. You uh, buy a membership and then you're able to shop at discount prices for a year. So that is an option for you as well. And actually it's a year plus. So it can be extended based on how much shopping you actually do, right? Um, and just like Sam's Club, I know before um, I had a Sam's Club membership, I would go with a friend to Sam's Club and use their membership to buy the things I needed. And so you can do the same thing here in Tupperware as well. And your third option is you can come to this even as early as next week and bring a host as a consultant. So you can be a consultant. And when we do these every Tuesday night, you could be making money instead of spending money on these events by bringing hosts and guests of your own, your friends and family, and just make some extra money for your, your family. So um, while we do the demos, right? 
And, um, or while you do, you creative marketing for yourself and you do your own demos, making your food for your family and things like that to be able to promote your business. So those are three options for you going forward here tonight. Um, but we want to thank everybody for coming. And our way of thanking you is to do drawings, to do drawings. So, um, so Jessica, tell us what is our first drawing for tonight? Um, for guests. Yay, for right? guests. Yeah, so we have, let me see, 22 guests on tonight. So, ooh, 22 guests. That's do you awesome. want me to do the draw? Yeah, go for it. All right. Hey, Google, give me a number between one to 22. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Hey, Google, give me a number between one to 22. Here's a random number, 12. Number 12, did you hear that? I heard it, number 12. All right, let's see who number 12 is. Number 12 is Joe with Melissa tonight. Congratulations. Awesome. Okay, before we do the second draw, I want to say, so for those of you that are even remotely interested in learning more about the Tupperware business, we do have a special event for you on Thursday night at 8 p.m. right here on this same Cooking with Tupperware page. And you can tune in. We're going to do the same sort of thing, you know, just say hi, who invited you, all that kind of good stuff. Um, and we probably we'll do a drawing at the end because why not right right Jessica Jessica kind of is in charge of our drawings right she's in charge of all that so um so we'll probably do that as well so if any of this if, if the thought of being able to be here on Tuesday nights making money instead of spending money is at all appealing to you you definitely want to be back here set set the set the timer on your phone right to be back here at eight o'clock Eastern Standard Time right here on our Cooking with Tupperware page. So you can just learn a little bit more. There's no pressure. You can get some questions answered. You can even watch it with a loved one to help you make your decision. All right, Jessica. So what is our next drawing for our host? All right. Yes. Let's do a host drawing. And then we're going to do one with everybody. Okay. Awesome. Perfect. So we have seven hosts on tonight. So welcome, everybody. We're excited that you're here. So Hey, Google, give me a number between one to seven. Two. Do you hear that? Two? Number two. <laughs> number two is number two on my list. You guys know. I have everybody on here. <laughs> All right. So number two is Dawn Pipes with Garrett. So congratulations, Dawn. Nice. Yay. Awesome. All right. Let's do our last one. And winners, you want to send addresses to Pam Clift. All right, so Pam Matheny Clift on Facebook, please send the addresses to Pam and she will make sure that um, all this stuff gets mailed out to you. All right. So then we have a final drawing. So we have total 29 people on tonight as guests and hosts. So, hey, Google, give me a number between one to 29. Eight. Did you hear that? Eight? Google can Number eight. She's saying Number she eight. can okay. improve. <laughs> I can barely hear it. I'm like, but eight? <laughs> so it's number eight. So number eight is Melissa Dale with Robin. So congratulations, Rob, uh, Melissa with Robin. <laughs> Awesome. Well, congratulations. And for those of you who are not friends with Pam online, um, contact your consultant and they will get you all squared away, making sure your address gets to the right place. And thank you so much for joining us tonight. And thank you to all our chefs from the kitchen of Lori, Moore, Lori and Dwayne Morris and in the kitchen of Christy Jackson and the kitchen of Angela Robaugh. Thank you so much. And all our behind the scenes people, Jenny Cheatham and Jessica Gordon. So thank you everybody. And we will see you next week. And some of you, we will see you on Thursday while you learn a little bit more about the business. Take care. Have a great night. Very good, very good. I had to mute myself. My Google was still talking to you guys. I know, I heard it. It's just like, blah, blah, blah. like, blah. I could do better. <laughs> I know. She, better. So funny. she wants to talk. She, she wants something to talk to. Her. It was oh, funny when you were like, eight? I know, because I could barely hear it and I didn't want to.
thing. I didn't want to say the wrong thing. She's like, I oh my gosh, I about died. I la- so the part I laughed with you guys was when you held up the cheese. <laughs> Oh my god, I laughed so hard. Is Angela <laughs> I was is. eating. Look at her. Shit. Yeah. About oh, that milkman so stuff, eating. Angela. Let me tell you what. <laughs> the entire family got to make more. No, is Angela still on here? Yeah, she's, yeah, on. she's on. Okay, Angela was giving me shit today because she was like, oh my god, you can't use green top cheese. <laughs> Wow. I don't have the other kind, so I was telling him. So of course, everyone knows Dwayne. Dwayne's like, I'm gonna show her. I go, go ahead. He was like, this. <laughs> I know he's just like this cheese. <laughs> I don't have the other oh, cheese. So he's funny. Other cheese, but we only have this. That's Ryan. He's he's right here. He's <laughs> he's so always about that stupid green oh, top. Oh, oh, Ryan, Ryan, too. Ryan. You, put it on my you see, they can hear you. See, look, there. There's there. There's there. There's there. There. look at that. They, uh, they put it on by the bucket, and I'm like, and I'm sitting there grading my fresh cheese. They're just like, oh, 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 oh. this is my stepdaughter, Tori. 